year is the year of the horse according to the Chinese zodiac. So recently I was asked to create a birthday cake with the Chinese New Year theme of the horse. And so the first thing I did was to Google how to make a fondant horse, which to my surprise, um, there aren't many YouTube tutorials out there. So I decided to make my very own and to share it with you. If you're a beginner dealing with fondant or if you live in a hot, humid climate like, like I do here in Singapore, then you might want to check out my article on my blog first on how to handle fondant in a hot, humid environment. But if you're an expert dealing with fondant or don't have environmental problems like mine, then go on ahead and view the video and give it your best shot. Let me know how it turns out. Here are the tools and materials you need. First, pull off one-third of the brown fondant and roll it into a ball for the head. Pull off a small piece from the remaining fondant and set aside. Roll the large chunk into a ball for the body. Then using the remaining fondant, roll them into six smaller balls as shown here for the legs, the hands, and the ears. Next, starting with the legs, roll each ball into a cone like so. Then use a fondant knife to create the hoof. Now it's time to move on to the arms, or the front legs if you want to be precise. Roll them into slender cones like so. Then use the fondant knife to create the hooves like before. Next, roll the large ball meant for the body into a pear shape. Flatten the ends of the legs slightly and place them under the body. To attach the arms, brush some water or alcohol onto the side of the arm and then position it onto the body. To help it stay in position, you might have to hold on to it for a while while the alcohol or water dries out. Do the same with the other arm. to give the horse a head. Roll the ball of fondant meant for the head into an oval. Using a rolling pin, roll the white fondant out flat and then use the end of a piping tip and cut out a circle. Place the circle of white fondant on one end of the head. a toothpick to create the nostrils of the horse. Then use a piping tip to create the impression of a smile. To secure the head to the body, insert a toothpick into the body of the horse and then place the head over. To give the horse some ears, roll the remaining fondant balls into small teardrops. Then use the ball tool to flatten the fleshier part while using your fingers to pull it into a tip. Create a hole big enough for the ear to be inserted into the head. Do the same for the other side. Brushing it with alcohol or water will help the ears to stay in position on the head. And now, here comes my favorite part, giving the horse some hair or its main attraction. Roll some white fondant into short strands, and then brush some water or alcohol on the top of the head. Place the white fondant strands on top of the head, and position them any way you like it. And now for the last step. Give your horse some eyes with an edible marker. And that's it! Ta-da! Your fondant horse is done. my blog 
to check out more tips, techniques, and recipes. Uh, meanwhile, this is Maggie Lindsay signing off, and happy baking!